For the 25th consecutive year, the Missouri Valley Conference Championship has been played in the shadow of the Saarinen Arch. You might guess that it's called Arch Madness. And this afternoon, the Illinois State Redbirds take on the Northern Iowa Panthers. They got to this spot, Illinois State upsetting Wichita State yesterday, and Northern Iowa ousting Loyola of Chicago. Dan Muller is in his third year as the head coach of his alma mater. Graduated from Illinois State in 1998. Starting lineups, take a look on the left. It's uh, a young lineup, Paris Lee, Deshaun Knight, Devon Akun Purcell, Deontay Hawkins, and Reggie Lynch. And for Northern Iowa, for the 33rd consecutive game, they start the same five players. Ben Jacobson now in his ninth season as the head coach of the team from Cedar Falls, John Higgins, Don Daly, Jerry Pollard, the officiating crew, along with Jim Spinarkel. I'm Vern Lundquist. Welcome to St. Louis. Tip controlled by the Redbirds. And into the hands of Paris Lee. And Vern, I would expect when you think early on in this game, the inexperience of one team, the Redbirds and the veteran squad that Northern Iowa has would be interesting to see. Deontay Hawkins, a freshman out of Dayton, Ohio, opens the scoring with a three. But it's worth mentioning, yesterday, Illinois State, when they came out to play, they really came out aggressively, and I didn't think of them as a young team. There's the block by Reggie Lynch. That's his 83rd block of the year. He had five in yesterday's win. Spin move. Wild underneath shot. Tuttle gets the rebound, gives it to Mitchell. Nice. Well, one of the things Mitchell does, he shoots the ball very well from long range, but if he can find the seams and drive the basketball in pretty good shape, especially their transition. You know, when you think of the, the Panthers, Vern, they don't go up and down the floor that much, but when they do, they're fairly efficient, but don't look for them to run that often. This is Paris Lee, Deshaun Knight in the corner. Two good guards, these two. And what they did, they saw them going by the guards on the perimeter yesterday. Reggie Lynch out of Edina, Minnesota with the turnaround. You know, one of the things yesterday, I think, with the guards for Illinois State, they were just going right by the perimeter players for Wichita State, so that's why you're seeing a zone right now. That was another block by Lynch, but it came clean into the hands of Mitchell, 5-4. Nice. Deshaun Knight. Jimmy had a great game yesterday, 25 points. He really did, and he was especially effective in the second half where they really needed him. Six of seven from the floor, hit a big three-point shot. But that's the type of play he was showing yesterday in terms of being able to drive the basketball the length of the floor, make things happen in transition. Mitchell turns the corner, fakes. Gives it back to Tuttle off the front rim. He can hit that shot. He sure can. He, he can hit that, but if you noticed also, Illinois State doing a nice job of committee rebounding. This is a magical start for the Redbirds out of normal Illinois. And we had a chance to speak to three of their players after the game, and the one thing that I was impressed with, and I think you were too, Vern, is the fact that these guys thought they belonged. They're confident. They weren't overwhelmed by the situation, and it's starting again right now. And a foul. Take a look at Deshaun Knight yesterday. And the quickness was what I was impressed with. Shooting the basketball, he had a huge three down the stretch. But this is what he was doing so well, dictating the flow of the action off the dribble. And Wichita State just couldn't stay with him. That's why we're seeing Northern Iowa go with their zone to begin at the other end of the floor, just to keep those guys out of the paint. That foul was on Deontay Hawkins, number 23, his first. 9-4. And that ball kicked out of bounds. Here's Tuttle. And watch for Tuttle in the post, Vern. He's very good, and he also passes out of the post. Let's see if he can find somebody. Got it. Good yep. move. He makes good decisions. That's, that's his game. Good decisions. He doesn't turn it over that frequently. So you'll see Illinois State double-team him, try to get him to kick the basketball out. But ironically, he leads his team in assists also, points and rebounding. Yeah. And a finalist for the John Wooden Award that just announced last week. Here's Knight 
Long range. Perfect. Well, if we're going to base anything on yesterday in this tournament, they better find him in a hurry. Because if not, they're going to be in trouble for a long day. Illinois State, five of six from the field. A torrid start. But Northern Iowa is a very, very experienced team, patient. I wouldn't think they're going to get out of control, hurry themselves. They pride themselves on their defensive efficiency, but also at the offensive end, not turning it over. Mitchell, spin move, jumper. That's the third deflection by Reggie Lynch. Reggie Lynch is just dynamite at the defensive end of the floor. As you touched on, Vern, he's all over, blocking shots. Yesterday at the end of that game against Wichita State, remember that big block he had with about a minute left on Fred Van Vliet, Van Vliet when they were driving to the basket? That's when they were making their run at this game yesterday. He is really stepping up at the defensive end of the floor. It's not quite Kentucky-like. But Ben Jacobson substitutes in platoon. <laughs> he sure and does. And he's got four fresh bodies getting ready to come on the uh, court during the next timeout. That's coming on the next dead ball. From the corner, no. Subtle rebound. Yeah, his substitutions, as you mentioned, they're like hockey substitutions. Yeah. They just don't do it on the fly. Nice. Wow. And a block again. From Reggie Lynch. Yeah, I think they're going to get Lee with that one down low. But you're right on top of it again in terms of Lynch being all over the place defensively. Good pass, the bounce pass. There was the grab. But look at Lynch up high doing very, very good defensive effort. And offensively, taking a look at the jumpers. They're a comfortable team. CBS Sports coverage of the Missouri Valley Conference Championship is sponsored by Lexus and their pursuit of perfection. Lowe's, tips, tools, success. And by Budweiser, still brewed the hard way. This Bud's for you. Illinois State off to a brilliant start. They've doubled up Northern Iowa 12-6. Jim, now let's take a look at the AT&T fast analysis. And we think about this fast analysis in terms of getting touches. Seth Tuttle is the guy who could do so much for this team. The player of the year in the conference can put the ball on the floor and drive it and get to the free throw line. A lot of pick and pops that he can hit from long range. But then one of the key things, about 35% of his possessions come down in the post-up area. And I mentioned it earlier on. He's very, very tricky down deep to get his own shot off. But you have to believe that Illinois State is going to continue to run people at him. So watch for his passing. You see 3.3 assists. He leads this team in just about everything that's statistically out there. He leads them. Marvin Singleton will be at the line. Number 12, where he is a 60% free throw shooter for the season. Good game against Loyola yesterday, where he had 11.7 rebounds. Kind of the silent guy on this team, but he's very, very active. Yeah, season average of five, so he doubled that. <laughs> Nate Buss has come on. He is the fourth fresh player on the floor. So for Northern Iowa, you've got out on the point. Wes Washburn, Wyatt Lowhouse, number 33. Tunnel is still there. Oh, I don't think there was a deflection there, was there? No. Although Ben Jacobson disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just see? Now, Paris Lee at the point. Devon Akun Purcell, junior college transfer. Look at Washington. Washburn get up. Sixth man of the year is Washburn, number 11. Tuttle? Yep, backup point who likes to run the action. He's one of the guys who will push the ball up in a hurry. And watch for Buss, too, with the shooting. He's been really shooting the ball well from the outside. 11 for 16 in the two days of the tournament. 
Tuttle off the mark. Oh, no, it was uh, Jesperson. 12 8, early going. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Well, Buss a factor defensively just then with Lynch. Tuttle grabs the uh, rebound. Outside, spot up three. No. Well, a couple of missed opportunities here. Yeah, and so often you go for the jam and you see that little slip cut to the basket and coaches want guys to really dunk the ball on this play. But when you miss them, a layup sure sounds pretty good off yeah. the glass. Give it up two points right there. Deshaun Knight is back on the floor. Reggie Lynch sits down. Let's check. We've got uh, McLeod, number 15, on for the Redbirds. John Jones, number 10. This is Deshaun Knight, backs off of Washburn. This is a man-to-man -man defense, but really there's not a whole lot of movement by the Panthers, so it's kind of almost looking like a zone at times. Mm -hmm. Six on the shot clock. Miss. Three on two. That's McLeod. Yeah, you know, when you look at the scouting report on McLeod, burned 73 shots this year. He's taken 68 of them from the three-point stripe, so he knows how to find the stripe. And the lead is back to seven. UNI is only three of 12 from the field in the first six minutes of the game. Low house. Now they're three of 13. Good defense. Here they come. Washman. Yeah, they'll look to run when he has the ball. Into the corner. Jumper. No. Three of 14. You see the four shirts around the glass defensively also. Transition defense very good for Illinois State. They pack it in the middle of the floor. That time they surrender an outside shot. Mikhail McIntosh, tough shot. He is fouled. Getting back on defense is so important, even though you're not playing against a running team. But look at the collapse in the lane right here. You get a good defensive effort. Don't get the ball to hit the rim. And look at the way they spread the floor. And just take a look way on the wing right there. A guy who shoots three-pointers. You think he was looking for a layup? I don't think so on that play. Now here come four new bodies. Well, the original starting four coming out along with Tuttle. Let's see if Tuttle stays. Yes, he stays in. McIntosh, a true freshman out of Pickering, Ontario. Not a good free throw shooter, 55% for the year. Eight point lead. Illinois State got into this game as a fourth seed. They split two games with Northern Iowa this year, won a blowout in Cedar Falls. Hell ball, possession arrow remains with Northern Iowa. And you take a look here, the help coming in every single time they touch the basketball down low, they can expect for Tuttle to get a double team coming his way. Mitchell. This is Bohannon. Now Tuttle guarded by McIntosh. Bohannon, floater, no. Boy, they cannot find the basket. They missed their last nine shots. Well, they're just bodying up. They could have called that one right there, but they're just trying to body up Tuttle, make him work for the basket. And we talk a little bit about how to defend him because he's so good. The versatility of Tuttle. He gets the ball, but look at all the red shirts. It's just surrounding them. And every time he touches it, so now here's a little body bump that's going to get called. That's a good call from the official. It kind of gives you a feel for when he touches it and posts up down low, he's going to get bodied. Now, that shouldn't really affect him. He's a seasoned player, best player in the conference. Nearing the 12-minute mark. Oh, they got McIntosh again. 
Yeah, see, that's one of those fouls, too, Vern. If he catches it there, he's not going to score immediately, so you'll have time to regroup and defend him. So why pick up that foul, especially, what was it, three seconds ago? Yes. It's bad that he had a second one. But watch, let him catch it here. No big deal if he gets it right there, but he's that's a good call again. New form of three-second violation. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Singleton. Lynch backs off him. Here's Bohannon. Over their last 10. Yeah, Bohannon drifting a little bit towards us on the sidelines. That's not a good indicator when you're shooting shots. Here's the jump from McLeod again. The only difference on that one, it's a half-court set. First one he had on the right side. He likes the real estate on the left. And that's what he did yesterday. He came into that game yesterday. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, but 1-3 against Wichita State was a big one in the second half. 0 for 11. Well, this is an Illinois State team that looks very comfortable right now and confident. That was the point you made early on yesterday against Wichita State. Now, remember we, when we spoke to Coach Dan Muller a little bit, Byrne, he said absent the injuries that they had, they thought they were going to be pretty good this year. Two more. That one, Deshaun Knight, the senior from Baltimore. Timeout, Northern Iowa. Well, shooters shoot, don't they? They look at McLeod. You leave him for a second. Boy, he shoots right through the cloud there. The good finish. And Illinois State showing that they might be for real. The CBS Sports app is the only app college basketball fans need. Get your scores, real-time alerts, expert picks, bracket games, and more. Download the CBS Sports app now. How about the shooting for each team? Well, when you think about the Panthers, Northern Iowa on the season, Vern, shoot 49%. They are three for 17 right now. And Illinois State, a whopping eight for 12, lighting it up. 12-2 run, 21-8 is the score. Tuttle. There comes the double. Oh, and the block <laughs> by Lynch. If he's not blocking them, he's making you think about it. Lynch offensively, loose ball, Northern Iowa has it. Yeah, Lynch has had two pretty good opportunities. Three for 18. And that's one of the things about Mitchell, too, right there. He shoots it well, but has trouble closing close to the basket. 21-8. Illinois State loving it thus far. We are back in St. Louis, and now LG presents Do Game Day Right. For more, here's Allie LaForce. Thank you, Vern. We got a chance to talk to Reggie Lynch. After yesterday's win, we said, how do you do game day right? Do you have any pregame rituals or songs you have to listen to on game day? And he said, oh, there is a song that I cannot go through game day without. It's called Who's Going to Stop Me by Jay-Z featuring Kanye West. Vern, I've worked with you not too long, but long enough to know you have some pregame rituals of your own. Jim, do you have any you'd like to share with us? <laughs> well, I'm not going to get up and dance if that's what you're thinking. No, and Allie, as you know, <laughs> most of mine are post-game rituals. <laughs> I'm with you on that one, Vern. <laughs> 10-10 to go, first half. This is Deontay Hawkins now. Little Devon Akun Purcell. Yeah, they like the high pick and rolls for some of their action. From the corner. Rebound, Matt Bohan. Northern Iowa has missed its last 13 shots. Mitchell. Tuttle, Jeremy Morgan, here's Tuttle, guarded by Lynch. You notice Lynch is going to give him that shot, or at least pretend to. He'll deflect it if he gets a chance. He's going to get called down low. Lynch with the foul. Well, it's a 
a team that normally shoots 49%. Really, yeah, and they are really struggling to get, you know, the looks have been there. They're just not getting shots to go down. And a lot of times when teams struggle like this, shooting the ball, you think they're going to be turning it over also, which allows them not to get into their offense, but they haven't been turning the ball over. They don't have one yet. So it's just they've been taken out of their rhythm with the aggressive style of Illinois State's defense at this point. Tuttle. And gets another one called. Yeah, it's not much of a foul, but there's reaching going on with Jones down on the blocks. And, you know, one of the interesting things, too, that doesn't get stated a whole lot, Vern, when you have a post-up player, we've seen him now pick up, like, three or four fouls against his the guy who's been defending him, and you look up at the, at the foul situation, and they're one foul away from going to the line, yes. all because of Tuttle, basically. It goes under the ra radar a little bit, but it's a big factor to get back in a game if you can. Bohan to Tuttle. And keep going with the ball if you're Tuttle. Fires the outlet pass. Now comes out to set the screen, little pick and roll action. And that, that outlet pass is better when there's a double team like right there. That gets the action. From the corner, they missed their last 14. And their last 15. My goodness. Now, Vern, if you take a look at this, it's interesting. He's very, very good at passing out of the post. So he hits the first guy. It's almost like going to be the hockey assist. Even though they don't get the shot to go down, what do they get? They get offensive rebounding scenes because they know that Tuttle is so good at passing the ball out that that allows guys to think, okay, he's just made the first pass. I got to cheat now and look for an offensive rebound. This is Nate Buss. Gets them both. Yes. So even though that was a two-shot foul, they're now at 17 fouls for Illinois State. So expect Tuttle to touch it, expect some dribbles for the basket, and see if they can use that to their advantage to chip away at this 11-point lead. Tony Wills on the floor now. Whoa! Knight in and out. Tonight on CBS, see why the New York Times calls the new drama Battle Creek a delight from the creators of Breaking Bad and House. Battle Creek tonight at 10, 9 central, only CBS. Deshaun, behind the back, jumper. That's inside the arc, that's for two. How about the breaking of the ankles too? A little push to the middle of the floor into the basket and then he has that big step away shot. Once again, coming off yesterday's performance, a very, very confident player. He's got nine points in the game now. There goes the steal. Whoops. Other way. Tuttle. That is a way to end the drought. I would say so. Now the question becomes whether they can build on that. You know, their job is just to, to think about them. They're so efficient at the defensive end of the floor. Northern Iowa, and offensively, they try to slow the game down and chip away. That one's a miss. Bohannon chases it down. So this is a good set for them to come down, make sure they get a good shot, and build on the last dunk that Tuttle just had, the two consecutive trips down the floor with, with some action going. Pretty good perimeter defense also. Mm -hmm. Mitchell drives, no. Illinois State with an 11 point lead, 7.18 to go. Here's Knight. And at the other end, Seth Tuttle. I'm Greg Gumbel in New York. We have another entry into this year's NCAA tournament field. Coastal Carolina knocks off Winthrop for the Big South Championship. The Chanticleers, the second team in the tournament field. Back to St. Louis. Vern Lundquist, Jim Spinar. Yeah. Well, Belmont in, Coastal Carolina in. The field is now beginning to be built. NCAA. We've got Illinois State leading and uh, a very proud team 
They've won six in a row coming in here, and Deshaun Knight's having another good game. And a lot of times, Vern, when you look at these tournaments when they begin, look at three or four games prior to the tournament and see which teams are playing well. They've started to build up some consistencies from the middle of February because they're healthy now. This right. is the healthiest they've been. Well, game summary. Take a look at that one on the right, top line. This is a team that over the course of the season has averaged 49%. Uh, they've drawn the donut from three. Illinois State is in foul trouble. They are, and you would expect that Northern Iowa would try to take advantage of that in their half-court sets. Entry pass, John Jones back outside. Hawkins, front rim. A brief discussion with Ben Jacobson. Eavesdropping. Jake in his ninth year. Got them into the NCAA tournament in an amazing run in 2010, during which they knocked off Kansas. Oh, a little bump in the middle of the floor against Tuttle. Well, that's the essence of putting a body on him. It sure is. And then I think from behind they get Knight. They got Knight. They did indeed. And so watch the activity. But Tuttle doesn't rush, Vern. Look at the way he just hangs in there. This is not his favorite shot here, but that's because he gets grabbed from behind and he throws up a little line drive because of the reaching by Knight. But once again, stop. the clock is stopped. 23 to 12. You start making some free throws. You chip away. You're right back in this. 76% from the line for the year for the most valuable player in the Missouri Valley Conference. One for two. McIntosh. Yes. That scouting report from yesterday, Vern, with perimeter guys being able to drive and go by people. Washburn and Mitchell, the two guards, both on the floor. Jesperson. Yes. And I love the little couple of dribbles to the corner. That frees yourself up. A little fake out front with the ball gets the defender to kind of lock his knees just for a second. And the pull up jumper from mid range, you don't see it as much as I believe it should be used in this game. There's a kick out pass, and from the corner, that's three. Deontay Hawkins, the freshman out of Dayton, Ohio. Illinois State by 13. Little jump stop. What? We got another one. Yeah, another foul called. You and I might get a chance to play in this game today. Yeah. <laughs> You could play. <laughs> well, this is an Illinois State team. Dan Muller, Muller, I beg your pardon, third year as a head coach. In the preseason, there was a vote. Coaches, media, SIDs. Every first place vote for the Missouri Valley went to Wichita State, save one. Incredible. Yeah, that Dan, he voted for himself. He voted for his own team. Now here's a question for you, Vern. How, yes. would you, how would you like to be the SID for his team that didn't vote for him? <laughs> <laughs> They're tough. They would be tough lunches, wouldn't they? Let's uh, get more from Allie. When we talked to Deshaun Knight yesterday, he said coach is so good at motivating us and instilling so much confidence in us that if you take a shot that you're not sure about and you look over to him as though he's mad at you, he will be mad at you for second guessing that shot. So essentially he wants them to have enough confidence as three or fourth year players, even though there isn't a single player on that Illinois State roster that has more than two years of Division One experience. But he makes them believe that they do. Thank you, Allie. There's another miss by Northern Iowa. And Vern, I always thought that when you miss a shot, you never look over at the coach. <laughs> <laughs> when you make it, you look over there. When you miss, you just look and go the other way. Under five to go. That's Paris Lee, that one's kicked, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep.
Ben Jacobson after that 2010 appearance and brief run in the uh, NCAA Jacobson given all kinds of opportunities to move out of the so-called mid-major and I mean so-called because the parity is just uh, increasing throughout the landscape but Jake turned them all down said he and his wife Don and the kids love living in Cedar Falls jumper my gracious there 0 for 7 from three-point room I think that one could have come back to Tuttle too he was a little bit more open than the jump Foul is on Jesperson. 28-15, Illinois State from normal Illinois, due east almost of St. Louis, 21-11 this year. And to get into the tournament, they must win the Missouri Valley. Well, one of my best friends from college, Dr. Charlie Harris, served 35 years on the faculty at Illinois State. He retired recently as the chairman of the English department. Among other things, he's critiquing my language. Ooh, sure. Oh, yeah. A little, little pressure on oh, you today, yeah. my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still living in the Bloomington normal area with his wife, Victoria. That's when you want a biology teacher to <laughs> critique you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> well, it continues. McLeod. He's now three for three. There is some degree of celebration on that Illinois State bench. Yeah. Largest lead of the game. Don't get the champagne out just yet because this is still a pretty good defensive team with Northern Iowa. Lowhouse misses that one. Where they are forcing the action outside and red shirts continue to drift into the middle of the floor anticipating rebounds. Good look. Nice. Great ball movement from the corner. Oh. And he hit the top of the rim. That, oh, that's anticlimactic. <laughs> exactly. Especially after the good pass. And yeah. Mitchell. Yeah. Nope. And Mitchell, as good as he is, Vern, from shooting the ball from the outside, he has trouble scoring inside on the drives. Mitchell was two for eight in the game. It just seems to my eye, every single guy who touches the ball for Illinois State is touching it with confidence. Here we go. Oh. Lynch from Hawkins. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good timeout. This Illinois State team came in here yesterday with some spunk, and boy, did they bring it again today. Going over the top. This fella blocks shots, but he also finishes at the rim. Illinois State with an 18 point first half lead trying to get back to the tournament for the first time since 1998 our uh, bracketology guru Jerry Palm is go. here I, I asked him earlier if Illinois State wins and gets the automatic berth who gets knocked out he pointed to that maroon and white square <laughs> on the right side but then Jerry said that's as of today as of today yes but, and a couple of teams on that board right there Indiana being one still have some work to do also but all the bubble teams are starting to look at this particular game and saying boy we do not want Illinois State winning this mm. <laughs> Northern Iowa facing its largest deficit of the season right now at 18 that equals the amount by which they trail Wichita State and as a veteran team Vern you would expect these guys to regroup and get some good looks Shooters keep shooting, don't they? They sure do. And the way he's shooting in the tournament, plus I would keep shooting also. Just under 40% on the regular season from the three-point strike. So now Illinois State, even though they're up 15 with this lead, you still want to come back and play with consistency at the offensive end. And the job of nice defensive effort here. Boy, that was a tough shot. And there is... Uh... Akun Purcell. Illinois State. Surgeon.
You're watching NCAA Basketball on CBS. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg, Clark, Seth, and Doug will get you caught up on the latest tournament news and which teams have already earned a spot. Plus the rest of the day's scores and highlights coming up on AT&T at the half. Illinois State 6 of 12 from long range. And McLeod coming off the bench to knock back three big shots for them to help with this lead. Been a couple of free throws coming, Vern, but if you're Northern Iowa, you got to find a way over these next two minutes to just bring this, this lead back to 10 points if you can. And I'm sure that's what Ben Jacobson was speaking about during the break. He's making sure, guys, don't get rattled. We've been through this before. We're experienced. Let's use these last two minutes, though, to get two minutes of good basketball in. Oh. That one climbed down into the well. Sure did. How'd that come out? 80% free throw shooter, too, and he looks yeah. like it with his rhythm and rotation. Tony Wills just came off the bench, number 12. Here is Devon Akun Purcell. One of the newcomers of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference. He played last year at East Oklahoma State College. Under two to go. Washman back outside. Jeremy Moore. And here's Plus. He'll put it on the floor. Nice work. Putting it on the floor. Three guys just then, Vern. If you notice, he was the finalist going to the basket because two guys set him up. Gets the defense rotating from side to side. That is the best time to put the ball on the deck and make something happen. Lynch almost lost it. 120 to go before the break. So the Panthers need to stop right now. This is Wills. Deshaun Knight. Oh, brother. From all angles, two straight days, 25 points yesterday continues to lead this team. 11 right now for Knight. Singleton. Bus spot up three. Not this time. They are one of nine from beyond the arc. Little crossover, jumper, no. Washman. Jump stop, back outside. Bohanna. Great reaction on the perimeter defensively. Three second differential. We have another 18 seconds to work here. Washman. There was Lynch, and Lynch gets the block. He got a foul as well. And so he travels and gets a lot of distance, Lynch. But watch how he has to come out on the floor. Big separation and a lefty shooter. He jumps on the left side. More times than not, he goes for the ball right there. But defensively, Vern, you're usually a guy shooting the ball with the right hand. You don't see many lefties when you're playing constantly. So he jumps at the ball side and grabs the hand. Picks up his second foul, so he'll Spend the final 15 seconds on the bench. And here is Washman. So once again, you're going to see the, the hard foul with the grab. And he, unfortunately, and did you notice with Lynch holding his leg, I didn't see that from the angle we were watching before, but falling down across the ankle and the foot. Here's Washman. He is from Cedar Falls. But he spent his first year at Tennessee. Yeah, keep an eye on Lynch, too, Vern, yeah. because that's important. That's how Perry Ellis with Kansas got hurt recently. You don't expect it when a body falls against your leg like that. Knee and ankles can go. Low house picks up the reach-in foul. That's only their fifth, though, so they can be aggressive. And they still have one to give right now. So if you're going to get driven by and go to the basket, if Illinois State seems to have a lane, get them before they get into the shooting motion. There he goes. He's grabbing way out there. Now 
Sometimes I question that one, Vern. How many guys have you seen pull up and take jump shots from that spot? So you want to back off if you're a defender and wait, because now they have 4.7 seconds. You're at, you're at six fouls right now, so you're in trouble defensively a little bit. Pete Maravich comes to mind. <laughs> Very good. Coming next, Frank Kaminsky. What a season he's having. So are the Badgers of Wisconsin. They continue their quest for a one seed. They visit Ohio State. It's all here on the road to the Final Four. CBS Sports, that's coming up after us. How about the Big Ten? Who's in, who's out, Mr. Spinark? Well, I think you take a look at some of these teams. Michigan State won yesterday, so they're in pretty good shape, aren't they? And I think Purdue with the win, probably there. I think you have Indiana and Illinois that still needs to do a little bit of work from this point on, Vern. You like Wisconsin possibly oh. as a number one? I do. I, I, I like them as a number one because they've been playing pretty well consistently over long periods of time. And, you know, when that number one line comes out, nice deflection there. That's going to take time off the clock, importantly, down to 3.7 seconds. I still think that number one line is going to change a little bit. Virginia's been slipping. Mm -hmm. Anderson's been hurt for that team, so you have a little bit of a slide. They haven't been scoring as well and defending. And we're back to play. There's a Maravich shot. Ooh. Ooh. Got the rim. This was very close. Sure was. And let's go to Allie, who is with Ben Jacobson. Coach, your team started three for 20 from the field, dug yourself into a 14-point hole. How do you dig yourself out of this one? Well, it felt like we had a lot of pretty good looks at the basket. I think we were open on the three-point line a couple times with Nate Buss, and he shot it well for us. And Seth touched the ball a lot. We didn't get a lot out of it. So I think if we can stay with that, I think we'll get more out of that in the second half. They were doubling Tuttle in the post. That proved to be pretty successful. How do you get him more involved? Yeah, you know, that's uh, we've seen quite a bit of that. And when he throws it out, we've had guys that have made those shots or we've, we've attacked those closeouts. And I think, again, if we can get him touches in the second half, I think we can play out of that. I think we'll be okay. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thanks. Allie, thank you. That's the end of the first half. Our score, 36-22. Lowest number of points this season at a half for you and I. Greg Gumbel up next after this word from your local station. I'm Greg Gumbel in New York. Coming up on AT&T at the half, teams are winning their way into the NCAA tournament. Clark, Seth, and Doug will join me to update the field. AT&T at the half is next. CBS Sports coverage of the Missouri Valley Conference Championship is sponsored by Buick, proud partner of the NCAA. Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. And by AT&T, mobilizing your world. Halftime in St. Louis and Illinois State dominating so far. They're up by 14. Moments ago, Allie LaForce with Dan Muller, Illinois State head coach. Coach, that was a heck of a first half. Were you more impressed offensively or defensively? Right now, hard to pick. Uh, our guys were locked in. We know that this team could come back. Four possessions, they can get 12 points on you. So the game's not over, but I like our look. I like our intensity, and we're really executing our game plan. Defense was the story, but offensively, you're dunking it. You're hitting threes. You're getting to the basket. Everything worked. What opened it up so well? Stops. We got stops, got out in transition. We're playing with a lot of speed. We set ball screens. Justin McLeod comes in, makes three big shots. It gets a little wide open. Uh, but it, it starts on the defensive end. Thanks, Coach. So. Well, Mr. Spinarkle, <laughs> what do you think? I think he's right on. I think the questions were right on the money, too, from Allie from the standpoint of this team. I think the answer could be said, Vern. They are just doing what they do and have done well. You know, absent the injuries this year, that coach thought his team was going to be very good. And now that they're healthy, they are playing well. And back-to-back -back games, they've really been terrific. Well, let's take a look at the halftime stats presented by Coke Zero. It's, it's a big number when you think about it on the low side, 7 to 30 for the Panthers, just struggling one for nine. But I have to believe a little bit that they're going to find a way in these first five minutes to kind of pull themselves together. They're not going to go down easily, I don't think. Here's Knight. There's the switch. Tuttle now leads, gets back underneath. Lynch calling for it. There's the entry pass. Lynch. Oh, how about that? 
Remember, we thought he had twisted an ankle, but uh, Ali talked to checked with the uh, with the trainer for Illinois State, and Reggie Lynch is just fine. And the same five on the, on the floor who have started every game for UNI. They never led in the first half. Here's Tuttle. And Tuttle only had five shots, but he did draw a lot of fouls. And it was that defensive pressure from Illinois State that was just terrific. The big fella Lynch, good to see him back on the floor, but he was a factor defensively. If he wasn't blocking shots, Vern, he was intimidating and protecting the rim. Screen from Singleton. Jeremy Morgan. Watch for Lynch to double team. As mentioned in the first half, this is the largest deficit faced all year, and there's Tuttle. Little fake out by Lynch, too. Trying to be the second man in, and I love the fact that Tuttle saw him over there and then went to the baseline to stay away from the double. Off the rim, rebound, Deontay Hawkins. And let's go back and take a look at that move by Seth Tuttle. And the key is watching the second defender in. Watch right there. See his little comes over with a little bit of a fake. And then you go away from that because Lynch wasn't quick enough to make a decision, but Tuttle was. Tuttle out on Lynch. Hawkins. Akun Purcell. Drive. Pass out. Hawkins for three. No. Rebound, Bohannon. Here's your way to chip away at a lead right here. Just be patient. This team doesn't go anywhere in a hurry. Subtle puts it on the floor, then kicks it. Now gets the entry pass. Lynch puts a body in. Yeah. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Boy, have he ever used that patiently, didn't he? You have a shot blocker who had very good position initially on the left side right there. What does Tuttle do? Quite candidly, Vern, I didn't think he was going to have enough spin on that ball to get it to go off the glass, but he did. He found a way for it to go in. Tuttle has nine. I'm thinking back now to Ben Jacobs and talking to Alley. At the end of the, he sounded very confident. He did. Didn't he really he? did. Yep. There's a miss, Lynch. And a foul is going to be called underneath. And so now you take the little slide down. He gets himself in position down on the blocks, so he's close enough. But he's very good. He's very good at getting you to lean, Vern. What he does is he puts the body up against you. He felt when you play this game, one of the key tricks to posting up or moving without the basketball is initially show the defender the opposite way of where you want to go. So if I want to go to the middle of the floor, I'm going to lean towards the baseline. He wanted to go baseline, so he leaned to the middle of the floor. Reggie Lynch gets the first. He'll shoot one more. Mm. 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 Yes, sir. Just a couple of minutes in here, but almost feel the Panthers building a little bit. Let's see if they can continue with this shot. Here's Morgan! Yep. All of a sudden, it's a different momentum shift right here. It didn't take very long, did it? And your confidence with that coach made a difference. Timeout, Illinois State. Well, so nice. You have to come down and get a good shot. And they do. And all of a sudden, confidence at the half carries over. Let's get it underway. Oh, yeah! It goes! Yes! Play with the Dreams do come true. Just a week away from the... NCAA tournament field being revealed here on CBS. Action begins with the first four on the 17th, then catch all the games on four networks leading up to the final four Saturday, April 4th on TBS and the national championship on Monday, April 6th on CBS. And let's check in with Allie LaForce. I got to listen in on Coach Muller. He was very calm as always, just disappointed they missed some easy buckets coming out of the half. But his biggest concern was when Tuttle catches the ball. So he drew up different scenarios on the dry erase board. If he catches it in the post, this is what we do defensively. If he catches it in the high post, this is what we do defensively. So they have very specific plans for him. Boy, that's 0 for 5 for Illinois State. And here's Deion Mitchell 
brings it back outside. He is an excellent long range shooter. He's only attempted one three in the ball game. He's tried to take it to the basket almost every time. And how about Lynch at the other end too, Vern? Three times in this game he's been around the rim trying to dunk it and put it back, and he's 0 for 3. Tough catch right there. Yes. Double team in the corner. Tuttle. Double team in. And there's a whoa, whoa, whoa. They got Deshaun Knight. Well, to your point a second ago, too, Mitchell in the corner right there. You notice how Tuttle found them because these guys, you know, earlier on, Vern, you made the point that these guys all started every game during the course of the season together. So they're a veteran bunch of guys. And watch the push off on the right side of the screen. Good call. Singleton not in the picture there to get the chance of the offense because he's getting pushed from behind. But coming into this tournament, these guys had started 386 starts. So you're not going to get much more experience than the Panthers have. Bohannon, look yeah. there's Tuttle. There's the double team. Lynch touched it. Kick in the corner. Bohannon from way outside, and that will bring. Ooh. I thought McIntosh got away with one just then. Yeah. Singleton was trying to go get that ball, which was still in play. A little pressure going to be applied by Northern Iowa now. Well, you can't run there. You can't. No. Huh. Only after a made basket. Yep. Uh, lack of concentration by McIntosh. So he's going this way with the ball right here. And after that, was, as you pointed out, miss and make made free throw or made bucket, you can run the line. And let's see if the Panthers take advantage of it. And they switch up and they press one time there, full court, and it rattled Illinois State. Tuttle, spin. Fern, it has to be about five or six times he's picked up fouls in this game against the Absolutely. defenders. Absolutely, yes. And watch him right here. He's using the body again. He comes to the middle, but he doesn't want to go to the middle. He wants to go to the baseline. So what does he do? He starts to set up Lynch to go to the middle of the floor again, and he reverts and gets to the free throw line. Smart move. One. His father, Jim, family from Sheffield, Iowa. 1,712 proud residents. Seth told us yesterday, he was asked, why you and I? Why not Iowa yeah. State? Why not Iowa? <laughs> he said, because Northern Iowa offered me a scholarship. Okay. okay. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> Very personable young oh, man, though, isn't is he? he ever. Yes. Oh, boy. This is turning in a hurry for the Panthers. Here's Mitchell. Morgan. Tuttle out on the perimeter. Bohannon, now he'll go into the post. Double team comes from McIntosh. There's the kick out and the three. Tall in rhythm, too. You have Tuttle right now playing a point post position, making the great decisions when he has to go with it, and also looking for shooters who know, by the way, as a shooter, if you know you're going to get the ball, it makes life a whole lot easier shooting the ball. They've cut the 14-point deficit to a single possession. And yeah, now the defense is coming into play. Okay. Yeah, Tuttle didn't get many touches in the first half, but they are featuring him down on the blocks right now, and his decisions have been near perfect. Thirty-seven, thirty-four. Illinois State still leading, but uh, heck of a comeback. Now let's take a look at the AT&T fast analysis. Well, Illinois State was just shutting down Tuttle in the first half, triple teaming him, double teaming, couldn't find an easy way to make things happen, Vernon. 
You know, when you're there, even though he's an experienced player, look at the double team. Just can't find any room, can't find any to pass to, and guys were disappearing a little bit on him on the perimeter. So nothing going well for them in the first half, but then they start to feature him in the second half, and what's happening, he's getting more isolations, one-on-ones against Lynch. They have to run faster. You see a couple of guys there thinking about coming to get him, but they're late. So look for that adjustment. If Tuttle gets it, you have to make a quick decision to go for him very, very quickly. Now Tuttle has led the way in the second half. Northern Iowa, four of six after shooting. Seven of 30 in the first half. And Illinois State looking for its first field goal of this second half. Here's the pass to Lynch. He spins, nice. Better because he used the body well. He kind of hit it. Tuttle right in the chest legally pushed him back and then was under control for his drop step so a good isolation go for a short shot obviously when you need a bucket that's only their third point of the half Morgan into the corner Bohannon balls hopping isn't it yeah, yeah they, they're moving it nicely yeah, now they sure have and here's Mitchell cutting got it oh who was that singleton too kind of helping him out with a little bit of a screen there to cause some traffic Harris Lee, number one, guarded by Mitchell, number one, and a foul. Take a look at that previous possession, Jim. Yeah, and look for number 12 here, Singleton. Watch this. Let's see if he just legally moves people around. It's okay. Maybe a touch of a move there, but that helps to free up the driver to the basket. It's a nice move of the posterior. <laughs> it works. Yeah. <laughs> Lee. Mitchell out. And Fern, as crazy as this is going to sound, you don't see people get offensive fouls using that <laughs> post-up area of the body, right? right? You can move people yeah. out pretty much. You oh. use your upper body, you use your arms, they call it. So if you can use it, the lower legs are so important in this game on the on the blocks and in the post. Lower legs. Huh? I'll call okay. lower legs oh, now. Right. I don't want to get too much trouble. Oh, nice euphemism. <laughs> you, you'll call me out on that. <laughs> Here's Tuttle. A little zone look. Or yesterday against Wichita State, this was very effective defensively. Skip pass, jumper, Morgan. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, if he can shoot your way over his own, that's one way. But I like the change just then by Illinois State just to throw a new look at the Panthers. But did they ever react well? Oh, look at the Steel, big Steel, Tuttle. He's got a man to his left. Can't find him. Doesn't matter. This is the first lead of the ball game for Northern Iowa. Timeout, Illinois State. So they changed the defenses up. That's supposed to rattle, guys. And what does Tuttle do? He goes over the top to Morgan for the long range shot. And then he gets up front and hangs with the guard, no less. And watch this big old step. Get it done on the move. Don't miss the premiere of the late, late show with James Corden. Who's James Corden, you ask? And you're allowed to. Find out Monday, March 23rd, only CBS. What's fueled this thing? Defensive effort and the confidence. Whatever was stated at the halftime break for Northern Iowa, I, and I think they went to the patience just to talk about, hey, We've been through this. Let's let's be patient. Ben Jacobson, he was poised yesterday when we were speaking to him. He anticipated being here. I think his team did, and I think they were just kind of rattled in the first half. Well, they're seven and nine, and on a 19 to four run, another turnover. Whoa, Tuttle. Nope. Knocked out by Singleton. Thirteen oh nine to go. Northern Iowa, its first lead of the game. Down by 18 at one point in the first half. So Byron, with an Illinois State team, do you see a little of the youth coming out? Mm. That's on Lee, his first offensive foul. 
Yeah, they drive to the basket, a good effort. Uh, but this team, take a look at these numbers. Vern, defense wins, I guess, huh, doesn't it? Number one ranking and points, 54 points. We talked about it at the break at halftime, you and I did. They were, had 36 points, so if you multiply that by two, they were scoring at 72. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Morgan! Again! So the veterans have shown up here in the second half. Let's see what the youngsters do at the Illinois State side. Can they react to some adversity? Not yet. Here's Washman, number 11. Morgan is three for three from threes. They don't expect too many bad shots either by the Panthers. They're, they're poised, they're disciplined. Morgan. Bohannon. No. no. But there's going to be an over the back foul on McIntosh. That's his third. Number 11. So when you look at the Panthers, watch in the middle of the floor. That's Tuttle with the catch. He immediately reacts to the corner for Morgan. And he does it by turning his back a little bit at the same time with a little bit of a spin. Very good understanding and recognition of where his teammates are going to be on the floor. And they practice this a whole lot. There's the good ball movement, the extra pass. That's the first miss from beyond the arc for Jeremy Morgan. Here comes Paris Lee. Four point. Northern Iowa lead. Hawkins, Bohan is good defense. No night on the floor. Where's the offense coming from? McLeod. Nope. Bohannon. Here comes Washburn. He'll force it. He likes to run. Now Tuttle outside. Tuttle inside. Loose ball. Tuttle. Uh, good decision not to try to shoot that one. Washburn. And a foul. What a turnaround. Oh, my goodness. So you take a look. Tuttle working it out here in traffic. Makes a good decision not to try to shoot that one. And that opens up a great time for guys to drive the basketball to the middle of the floor and make things happen. CBS Sports coverage of the Missouri Valley Conference Championship is sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. UPS, United Problem Solvers. And by Mercedes-Benz, Experience truly great engineering today at your authorized dealer. Welcome back to St. Louis, Missouri, 25th year in succession at the Missouri Valley Conference Championship has been contested on this floor. How about this? Northern Iowa down by 18 in the first half. They've outscored Illinois State 24 to 4. Deshaun Knight, 11 points. Seth Tuttle, 13. 5 of 10 shooting. Eight of those points have come in this half. He is really a well-rounded player. He sure is. Fun to watch. And you know what, Vern? When, when you speak about Tuttle down low, and this is kind of coming from the president of the I Can't Jump Club myself, <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't really <laughs> no. go over the rim. He rebounds no. a little bit. He can go up there, but his game is all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fellow traveler, Jim. <laughs> Under 11 to go. Winner gets the automatic spot. That one's kicked. In the NCAA tournament, the only way Illinois State can get in with this 21-11 record is for Dan Muller's team to win this game. Mm -hmm. well, still plenty of time. They just have oh, to yeah. get settled. They really have to get settled on the offensive end. But this is a clampdown again by the Panthers, what they do so well. Look at Washburn on. Now yeah, that's the second field goal of the half. Good effort there by Hawkins, wasn't it, to kind of fold his way and move his body around a little bit and shift. 
Here's Singleton. And the ball's going to go through the tunnel. Double team comes from Lynch. The kick out. Boston, nice. Bohannon, that's off the mark. Okay, so a couple of misses give you a chance to get back once again to get your rhythm at the offensive end of the floor. Alley, nope. Nice. Lynch, yes. Yeah, see, that's moving with a purpose right there. The big guys, if you put the ball on the floor, make sure you do something with a purpose. And he threw his whole body and shoulders around the defensive player. Sure makes it a whole lot easier when you move the feet properly. Nice There's the steal. Give it up. Deshaun Knight. Oh, whoa. Away, Burn. Watch out. <laughs> Saved by Knight. <laughs> Get some pretty good activity. Yeah. And we'll see. Nice effort to get to the ball by Knight. He goes upstairs. And I'm wondering. Let's see. Yeah. You know, he never had possession, so if that ball goes over, should be okay. Take another look here. Yeah, I, I, you know, they're not going to make a, a decision on whether he's inbounds or not, whether it's a backcourt violation. Redbird yeah. ball. Yeah, he doesn't have possession. No possession. No possession. No possession. Yeah. No possession. Yeah. So, exactly. So if he, by rule, without the possession, he's going for it, he tips it. It's a missed shot. Remember, somebody did not pass that out to him. If his teammate passed that to him, then it's a backcourt violation whether he tips it or not. So if he had possession and then turned and made a pass and it goes backcourt, obviously that's backcourt. So that's a good call from the officials getting together. Akun Purcell with the ball in his hand, 44. He'll drive it. Kick it out, touch pass. It's moving again, isn't Back it? Back to Hawkins, it sure is. In and out, that would have tied it up. Illinois State has last three minutes to my eye picked up a little bit of confidence again. They yes. get back into their rhythm. They withstood the wave, but they still trail by three. Now, Deion Mitchell's back on the floor. 9.06 to go. So here's the methodical offensive sets. They're not in a hurry. That's where the games are pretty low scoring. Five on the shot clock. There's Morgan. Tuttle tips it, but McLeod grabs it for Illinois State. Excellent job by McLeod just then getting it back and helping. Yep, good move. Yep. Wednesday at 7.30, a trip to the NCAA tournament is on the line on CBS Sports Network. The winner of Lafayette and Bucknell will face the winner of Colgate and American, only on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Lafayette currently up on Bucknell. Tuttle's going to get a little yep. bit of a rest here. It won't be long. You know which one caught our attention last night with the scores? We both kind of said, oh, wow, is the Yale. Yale, Yale Harvard. Harvard, wasn't oh, it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All Yale had to do to win the Ivy was win at Dartmouth. Oh, they didn't. And then Harvard won against Brown, yeah, I believe yeah. it was. And so there's a one-game playoff. And you, and you took... Yeah, next Saturday at the Palestra, which is a great place to have oh. it. But if you, if you recall, if you saw that replay on it, that tip ball out of bounds really cost him because that would have been an entry pass all the way back to the other end of the floor that really hurt Yale. 8.18 to go. Knight, three-point deficit for Illinois State. Good end of the quarter, yes. Hawkins, yes! We're tied! But you know what, Burn? We got to give credit to the Panthers for coming back in this game. But you have to give credit to the Redbirds because they came back and answered too. I thought they were going to kind of buckle at the knees a few minutes ago. Seven unanswered for Illinois State. That's for three. We're not tied. And that was a good screen too. I think it was Singleton on the left side there, buried in traffic. Pick it up. 
good luck in the middle. Oh, oh he can't do that. offense, yeah. Had that shoulder down. Popped him. Third foul on Reggie Lynch. Seven minutes, 35 seconds to go. Take a look at the game summary. At one point, Illinois State had an 18-point lead. Northern Iowa then went up by seven. And here we are with the three-point. We were chatting last night and again early this afternoon about the margin of difference in the games on CBS yesterday. Right. And again, we were hoping for a close one. Looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty good one. You know, you, you think about the way these two teams, the Panthers coming back from the first half, and then all of a sudden, you know, the Redbirds doing their thing in terms of being able to weather their storm, and Tuttle getting his touches down low, and I just think the, the ball started to snap a little bit for the Panthers, making extra passes. Tuttle with that steal at the beginning, in the middle of the floor at half court. Morgan stepping up, knocking some back, so a good, good effort by the Panthers, but Redbirds right back in it. Yes. Tuttle will rest. Bus number 14 is the tall man who took his place. And they are deliberate for the most part. Bus back to Deion Mitchell from Pflugerville, Texas. From the corner, that's for three. Bo Hannon. Terrific delivery, too, by Mitchell just then. Setting the table, bringing people off that high pick-and-roll action, getting defenders to collapse into the middle of the floor and really bite on his dribble fake. Under seven. Go the other way. There you go. Hawkins, Lee. Screen set by Reggie Lynch, who's on the floor with three fouls. Akun Purcell, no, track down. They're going to let it go out of bounds. So watch this little dribble. Watch defensively. You cheat in. Once you cheat in, and McLeod had to help out. Ball goes across. And Tuttle doing a little cheerleading on the sidelines right now. He does everything. Sub for Illinois State. Hawkins out. And McIntosh, number 11 takes his place. 53-47, 6.28 remaining. This is Buss. Now Singleton. Good action away from the basketball. Turn around, jumper, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, they're well disciplined, but I think it's really the poise is showing right now in their half court sets. They've scored the last eight. And Buss has 12 off the bench. Here's McIntosh. One on one with Lee offensively, Mitchell defensively. Shot clock at 10. Jump stop up and in. Nice. Good answer just then by Akun Purcell. And when you think about it, Vern, when you're in trouble, you have to start driving the ball to the basket. I was going to say, you know, if they didn't score there, they may have to up-tempo their defense and get a little bit more reckless, a little crazy, take some chances on the defensive end, but they can settle back a little bit right now, down six. Well, good place to be, wasn't it, for Singleton? Nearing the five-minute point. Tuttle getting ready to come back. It's at about two minutes on the bench. I think so. Yeah. Kicked. Here comes Tuttle. Take a look at Singleton on that uh, last possession. So look at Mitchell out of control. He's going to our right looking at that play and throws up a wild shot. But Singleton again. He's been setting screens. He's been doing a little bit of rebounding. He's been doing a lot of action that really, once again, doesn't get a lot of credit for his play. Whoa! <laughs> Akun Purcell for three. Five-point game.
So notice the sets to Vern. They'll work their way along the baseline. Look at all the action. They got Lynch. That's number four. Yeah, this is just the guy who says to himself, we need a bucket right now. And he just missed one, made one the last trip down the floor, so bangs back two in a row. Had a shot of Akun Purcell. The foul was called on Lynch, his fourth. Well, he's an all-round athlete. For more on that, Allie. Thank you, Vern. Jim, you mentioned he plays the point post position. He also is a cheerleader on the bench. Well, in high school, he went to state as a high jumper. His highest jump was 6'7". He also went to state for the discus, and he was a star quarterback on the football team. But after he took a big hit, he said, I don't want to play quarterback anymore. So he skipped for a couple of years, played wide receiver. Then when they went 0 for 9, the next year he played quarterback again his senior year, took them to the playoffs after an 0 and 9 season. This kid is talented all the way around. There's the double on a coup to Purcell. Look who got the rebound. Right on cue. And he went from the left side to the right side to get to it. Loose ball. Watch oh, out. gosh. Woo. Oh, that's frightening. Hell ball. Possession arrow goes for Northern Iowa. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, you wonder why guys don't hit heads that often on loose balls like this. It's just a sixth sense of playing basketball that you protect yourself instinctively. Good effort, though, it's by three players. Seven-point game, 4.05 remaining. Tuttle. I think when you're down seven points, the way Illinois State is playing this, they're playing it almost passively at the defensive end. Mm -hmm. This team is too efficient offensively. There's not that many possessions. So sooner or later, they're going to have to come out and throw a little curveball into this defensive execution. Four on the shot clock. And they got Lee with a foul. To the surprise of Dan Muller. Timeout. Well, Illinois State needs a defensive stop right here. Let's take a look at this play. See the foot come up? Anytime you have any kind of intent to kick the basketball, that's the call. And more importantly, even though Dan Muller does not like the call, it's the correct call. And I think more importantly also, Vern, there were about four seconds on the shot clock. So it's now reset to 15. So you get plenty of time to get a, a shot off rather than four seconds and be in a panic mode. Good point. 342 and 15 seconds on the shot clock. Seven point Northern Iowa lead. Bohannon will inbound, gets it to Tuttle. He hands it off. Deion Mitchell. Now 10 on the shot clock. You don't want to foul now, that's for sure. Under 10. Good defense by Illinois State. Wow. Let's see what Tuttle does. Now, now. three. Take the three. Nope. I was going to say, if that one goes in, you might as well warm up the bus. <laughs> <laughs> 20 remaining. Let's see if they start picking the pace up. You don't need to rush, but you need to hurry just a little bit. And that's where Knight has been effective. Screen set by Lynch. That's off the mark. Air ball. Mm. And now let's see if Illinois State picks it up a little defensively. Pretty good work defensively there, too, by Bohannon. Yep, here they come. Here come the Redbirds. They know they have to make something happen defensively here to pick this. They got to force the Panthers into doing something that they don't want. That's hurrying with an offensive shot. And generally, they don't. Under three. This is Mitchell guarded by Knight. Tuttle. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. Uh, he was taken down hard, but he's going to go to the line and shoot two. Nice pass. It sure was. And he waits just till the right time until guys come towards him. Watch how he waits till the third guy crosses in the middle of the lane. He leaps. 
And you can't make that play unless Buss is paying attention in the right corner. And he timed his cut to the basket perfectly. Buss, one more. He's three for three from the line over the season. Excellent three-point uh, free throw shooter, 79%. Two for two here. Nine points. Buss with 14 off the bench. Purcell. Nope. Into the arms of Tuttle. There's the reach around. Tuttle gets it, puts it in the hands of Mitchell with two. 20 remaining. Yeah, how many possessions are left in this game? Yeah. You know, there's not many because they're taking 25 seconds or so off on each possession. And we got a guy like Tuttle who knows what he's doing with the basketball at 6'8, puts an extra guard on the floor to make decisions for you. 10 on the shot clock, 203 to go. Beautiful pass. And he missed the reverse, did Jeremy Morgan. And I think the foul was called on Morgan. It was. Well, that was a chance to perhaps secure mm. this. Yeah, I was thinking just the same thing. Oh, I, I think you're right on there, Vern. Morgan missing that shot. This is a huge possession right here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Boy, how about Hawkins from long range stepping up again? So now you look for double teams to look for some action. Hawkins has 14, six point margin with 90 seconds to go. Oh, look at this shot by Hawkins. Is this just another opportunity? He understands that we have to go quickly here. That's a deep, deep three. And I think this is the probably the big possession here, Vern, is that if the Panthers score, then you're going to automatically go into the fouling mode the next trip down. But with 19 on the shot clock, you play this one out, brings you down to about, I don't know, about 105 on the, on the uh, game clock. Big stop needed right here, though. Mitchell drives it. Loses it. Oh, wow. oh, they say it was tipped by Hawkins. Wow. Brings up a point mm. in this game. Northern Iowa has turned it over only twice. Two turnovers. Oof. This is They're very be... good. They average 10 per game. Right. So. This is going to be very interesting, this call. There's definitely they touch it before that, but I'm wondering whether... Mitchell brings the ball up further and keeps his hand on it. Like right there, I think Mitchell might have been the last one to touch that ball. I do too. Okay. I do. See Here what? we go. This is There's a good the look. touch. Look at. Uh, oh, yeah. Mitchell. Yeah, I think when you if you go back and you freeze it right where you had it, right? Yeah. Watch the separation. You see Lee's arm, the guy on the right. He's not next to him. Not even touching him by body. So that is the third turnover of the game now. And it is a two possession game. Mm. Singleton getting ready to come back on the floor for the Panthers. But not yet. Little show with the Panthers coming up full court. My mm -hmm. guess is they're just going to back it out. Absolutely. Yep. Here we go. Huge, One ten. Yeah, huge, huge possession right here. Hawkins, another long bomber. Wow, and a foul on McIntosh. Uh, that he may have been a little too hungry then. I thought so too. A little quick too. Make them defend just a little bit more. You got a look, big guy Tuttle hanging out there, 6'8", putting a hand up. I agree with you, right on the money. They're going to bring Reggie back in and bust four for four at the free throw line. Mm. Here comes Lynch. 
and McLeod. McLeod is the three-point shooter. Well, Illinois State, as we made the point, has to win this, I think, mm -hmm. to get into the tournament. Northern Iowa's in. There's one of two at the line. Now Singleton will replace Buss. Buss with 15 points today. And the Panthers just don't want somebody to go blowing by them right now to the basket. They don't need to. So they take that, the two long shots. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think you got to put the ball in the deck and go after it a little bit. You need that. You need fouls at the other end, and now they have no choice but to foul right now. And three possession game under a minute. So two in a row for Illinois State. Back to back, long, quick shots without even tempting or probing to try to get to the basket to get fouled. Bohannon's going to go to the line. 77% free throw shooter for the season. He's not been at the line very often. This will be his 23rd free throw attempt. Well. 48.5 to go. If you joined us late, Illinois State brilliant in the first half. Northern Iowa not so much. And Illinois State, there's one for two. Led by as many as 18. Now you have to go. Ah, with them. there we go. Yes! Boy, that timeout was called so fast. I thought there I might know have it. been a possible four point play. Coming I did at too. Us. You know, Knight understands the situation, has to come down the floor and make something happen. Keeps them alive a little bit. Five point margin. Northern Iowa trying to hold on now. 43 seconds to go. You are going to see right now the biggest blitz from Illinois State. That you've, remember, we, we were talking about it about the five minute mark where they had to up tempo defensively and they waited until about the two and a half minute mark, maybe the two. This is it. They just want to come after you, take three to five seconds to try for a double team and a steal, if not foul. Run the baseline, get it in bounds. Yep, and there there's go. a foul, McIntosh. And they'll send Dion Mitchell to the line. That's five on McIntosh. So you have some missed opportunities here. There was one. He had two of those. The big guy Lynch in the first half. Misses again. So he had three by himself. And another pretty much breakaway action. You got to get all those close ones, Vern. They're the ones that come back to really haunt you. Now well, McIntosh has fouled out. Let's check the five on the floor. Hawkins is there. Paris lead. Deshaun Knight. Reggie Lynch. And Akun Purcell. Yeah, pretty much all their shooters. Don't forget Wisconsin at Ohio State next on CBS. And interesting enough with Mitchell at the line right now, Vern. Shoots it at 46% from the three-point stripe. So you would say, you know what? This guy's probably an 85% free throw shoot. He's only 66%. Best yeah. shooter in this league from the three-point stripe. Let's see what he can do from the line. Yep. Smooth. Very. Singleton back on for bus. This is the defensive change. And Tuttle and Singleton. Yeah, well. You go this way, I'll go that way. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stay here all night. No, no, How no. Is that message? Ah, uh, two for two. Deion Mitchell. And the three possession game, too. Knight, jumper off the rim. See who they got. Might have been Singleton in the traffic holding on. Yeah, Stop, I think you're yeah, right. Stops the clock. It was Singleton. Akun Purcell, 80% from the line, one of two tonight. Make it one of three. Get a foul. And they do. 31.9. Last time Illinois State was in the NCAA tournament, they were led by their coach, 
Dan Muller. They won one game in the tournament 17 years ago. Northern Iowa, of course, made that big splash in 2010. Ali Farukbanesh practiced that. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yep. Now an assistant at uh, Nebraska for Tim Miles. That's one for Bohannon. And Burn, we should probably slip in there too with Illinois State, the great Doug Collins. Oh, we haven't even mentioned Doug, one of the best players in the history. Yep. Back in 73. And a better person than better than player. Ah. Dan Muller said he's very close to Doug and especially his son. No. Well, and another foul. Yeah. Well. Hawkins has fouled out with 14 points. Tony Wills will take his place. Mitchell at the line. Never easy being on the losing side of a game like this, especially with the way that first half went. They were up 36 to 22. And a tip of the hat to Northern Iowa. Boy, did they ever come back as a veteran for this yeah. team, didn't they? Had that 24 to 4 run. Yep. And uh, I keep thinking back to Ben Jacobson's calm demeanor when Allie talked to him at the half. There's a basket underneath by Deshaun Knight. He said, we're going to be OK. They were down by 14. <laughs> exactly. Well, hard earned victory, that's for sure. Yep. Seth Tuttle celebrating as he should. Now this is a mild storming of the court so far. I'm one of those who doesn't quite get the point of this, but I'm an old curmudgeon. <laughs> as long as no one gets hurt, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, that Kansas Kansas State scene was really ugly mm -hmm. when they pinned Bill Self up against the uh, scoring table. In the second half, 47-24, UNI outscored Illinois State. For Jim Spinarkle and Allie LaForce, Vern Lundquist, final score is 69-60. Coming up, Wisconsin at Ohio State. Northern Iowa back in the NCAA tournament. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the 2015 Men's National Championship. Greg Gumbel up next in New York right after these messages.